Hey guys, Jinx here, one of the Monster Hunter Math Guys. So, making a super quick video here because I realized I done goofed. So, in the previous video that we just put out, I talk about the elemental damage changes. I talk about there being a soft cap, about there being a hard cap, about how I'm not exactly sure and there's not enough information for me to figure out exactly how the elemental attack in Iceborne works. That's all bullshit. It's true that I didn't know how it worked, but that's because I was hugely overcomplicating it when trying to look into it. Basically, it was exactly the same way it currently does in Monster Hunter World, it just doesn't have a cap anymore. So, the way it works in current Monster Hunter World is that level 1 gives you 30 more elements, level 2 gives you 60 more elements, and level 3 gives you 100 more elements. Level 4 gives you 100 plus 5% of your base elements and level 5 gives you 100 plus 10% of your base elements. If we compare this to the chart that they gave us of how it's going to work in Iceborne, level 1 they all go up by 30, level 2 they all go up by 60, level 3 they all go up by 100. At level 4 they all get that 5% bonus, and at level 5 they get that 10% bonus. And according to all the numbers on screen, the level 6 bonus is a 20% bonus. And these are all rounded to the nearest 10. So for example, with the Corona at level 6, that's going to be 1.2 times 180 plus 100. That totals to 316, which does round up to 320. Which is also why the Holy Sabres don't get any increase from level 4 to 5. So for level 4, that's 120 times 1.05 plus 100, equaling 226. Level 5 is 1.1 times 120 plus 100. That totals to 232, which also rounds to 230. But yeah, it's 100% consistent with how elemental scaling works currently, the only difference is that there is no longer an elemental cap at all. That and they added level 6. So to reiterate how it now is going to work in Iceborne for clarity, Element attack level 1 is still the base plus 30, level 2 is the base plus 60, level 3 is the base plus 100, level 4 is 105% of the base plus 100, level 5 is 110% of the base plus 100, and level 6 is 120% of the base plus 100. Sorry for not seeing it earlier, it does work exactly the same way it does in current Monster Hunter World. Now, an important question is, since now there is no cap for any elemental weapons, should you run elemental attack 6 for every single a weapon? And the answer is hell nah. Because the higher levels of elemental attack are entirely based off of the base amount the weapon has, all of these weapons are going to run at most elemental attack 3. If we take a look again at the Holy Saber's numbers, at level 3 to level 6 you only gain 20 element for 3 level 1 slots. Absolutely not worth it. Which basically means most low element weapons will probably only want to run 3 if any at all but almost everything else will most likely run 6 levels. Again, it's going to entirely depend on the weapons we get in Master Rank as well as what the armor slottage and efficiency looks like. It's very possible that even some relatively high element weapons will still want to run more EFR instead of those last 3 levels of elemental attack. And I did say earlier that the cap is removed, that's not 100% certain. For all effective purposes, it is removed, but the most we do know for certain is that the cap may have been raised to two times the base element. The reason this is a very important distinction is because in the last video, I mentioned that certain things like the elemental attack up song on Hunting Horn, as well as the dragon attack you get from Dragon Mantle, are basically useless in current Monster Hunter World. The reason is, is because these things give you more elemental attack stats, but they only do so up to the cap for the weapon. But if there is no cap, cap anymore, these things suddenly look very, very good. Imagine using a Dragon Pepsi B with an Elemental Attack song on your team's hunting horn with a Dragon Mantle, and Dragon Attack 6 with no cap on the amount of element your weapon can actually have. That is some big, juicy SAD numbers. But again, this is assuming there isn't a cap, which we do not know is the case. At most, what we do know is that if there is a cap, it is at least twice the base amount. We know this because we know that Holy Sabers can hit 240 water, which is twice of their base element. So to determine whether there is a cap or not, we will have to wait until we have more data. But yeah, that's all I have for this video, guys. Super quick one. I just wanted to correct that incorrect information from the last video. Thank you, as always, for watching the video. 
and be sure to like the video if you learned something new and leave a comment below letting us know how you feel about these elemental attack changes. And a huge thank you as always to Honey over at HoneyHunterWorld.com for creating and maintaining the tools we use to make sets. And we do of course have our Discord server the Mathalos Nest, link in the description if you'd like to come hang out and chat with us about all of these changes. We do also have a Twitter where we post updates about videos and various things that interest us, and Tuna does also stream almost every day on Twitch. Tuna and I are equal partners in this business, we do share everything. So following us on Twitter and on Twitch is one of the best ways to support us completely for free. Speaking of support us, none of this would be possible without the generosity of our patrons. So an especially huge thank you to MC Persona, Furay, Yoshi Cho, Fly, David Sternberg, XCLK07, Hulkanis, Gilgi, Heike, Milky Powder, David Zhu Sinclair, Sinful by Nature, Warren Kios, Hensatsugen, Papa Slatch, Wed Manticore, Cap'n Big Brain, Zamiya Washington, Superfly, Bram Orsel, Anti Spartan, Lightweight, The Local, PB Livingston, Flagoblast, Jordan Petit, Skylar Yang, Kong Kong, Lupin, Mongus, Kubiko, Triple Agent, Alan O'Dom, Baguette, Zim, Sir Kite, Billy Barthol, Dandy, Captain Walmart, Magister Obscura, Jamie, and every single one of you who supports us on Patreon. The reality is, our style of content is not the most popular one on YouTube's algorithm. But your patronage reminds us every single day that you guys don't want to see clickbait videos. You want to see content dense, research, very informative and educational content. So I know I probably sound like a broken record at this point, but it's still true. Thank you guys so much because we could not do this without you guys. All right, that is it. The next videos you guys will see coming out of the channel are for sure going to be the meta series. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like to hear about every single video as it comes out. That's all I have for this one. Happy hunting hunters. See you guys on the next one. Bye.